In this video, I want to test this mask that was listed as a KF94 and see if it's as good as a 3M Aura. Now, that's a lot to ask of a mask, but still, even though this mask sells for 16 cents, it says it's KF94 and it should offer protection if it's claiming to be KF94. But I want to know exactly how much protection it offers, and we're going to find out with the mask fit testing machine. Now, one caveat, I got these masks free uh, because I'm in the Vine program. But as you'll see coming up, I'm going to give it the uh, same test I'd give any other mask. I've got the mask on, and uh, I wish that an inexpensive mask would fit me well, but I've got a high nose bridge and I need a really good nose wire. And like most masks that are um, not 3M, this has a twin wire that is weak and is not conforming to my nose. That combined with the uh, weak tension of this is going to give me a pretty low score. All right, 2.5, um, that's surgical mask territory. That's really, really bad. Um, it still can help protect you a little bit, so better than nothing, but not as good as this 3 Amora, which uh, is 300 times cleaner inside the mask when you wear it, or at least when I wear it, versus two and a half times cleaner inside the mask. So a uh, hundred times or more protective for me than this mask, even though they have a similar form factor. But let's see if we can improve this and make it fit better. So sometimes to improve a uh, mask, I will swap out the nose wire and put something like this. This is a, a, an aluminum strip that comes in uh, one millimeter thick and five millimeters wide. And that can really help the fit by giving you a stiffer nose wire if you need that kind of extra fit um, at the nose bridge. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use um, a type of double stick tape. This one is sold for masks, but you can use other types of tape like toupee tape um, just to try and get a better seal on the mask. I'm going to see if this will actually make a mask that doesn't do great do better. I've gone ahead and uh, lined the mask with mask fit tape. Um, you might only need to put it where the mask leaks. Uh, for me, that would be the nose bridge, but I'm going to go ahead and try and use the uh, mask tape everywhere just to see if I can get the best possible fit out of this mask. All right, I've got the uh, mask fix tape on here and uh, I'm not feeling the same leak I was at the nose bridge. So I'll be interested to see exactly how much this helps. All right, 24, that's a big improvement. That's 10 times better. But with a KF94, a real KF94, I would have expected even better than that because uh, I literally taped the mask to my face. So now I'm starting to wonder if these are really genuine KF94s um, and KF94s are usually shipped straight out of Korea. So let's put a uh, fix the mask mask brace on and see with the best possible fit what kind of filtration we get. Now that I've got the mask on with fix the mask, it's kind of clear to notice that I've got some mask collapse. Now a 3M or doesn't collapse because it's stiff, but in this mask, the mask collapse suggests I've finally gotten a good seal. And we'll see if that's good enough to get a really good score. 25. Um, yeah, 25. With all the seals I've got and with tape and with this fix the mask, um, there's no way a legitimate KF94 should score that low. And uh, to make sure that this machine's functioning correctly, I'm going to use a 3M Aura and we'll make sure that I get the score we expect so that we can be sure this score is accurate. This is a 3M Aura and we're going to see if it beats a fit factor of 25, which is where the other mask, the uh, suspect KF94, scored. 314. Okay. Um, so that is a hundred times cleaner than this mask was when I first tried it without any braces or tape. So this mask may cost only 16 cents. Um, it might be 10 times cheaper than this mask is but it is a hundred times worse than this mask. So uh, for me, I, I don't think it's worth the savings. And I, I'm not sure this is really a KF94, uh, even if it happens to say KF94 on it. What is the takeaway after all of that testing of this supposed KF94 mask? Well, to my mind, it didn't perform as well as I expected from a KF94 mask, and it wasn't that protective. If you really need protection and are going to the trouble of wearing a mask, you might as well wear one that really works well, like this 3M Aura, 
that was literally over 100 times more protective than this discount mask. So the question remains, why did this discount bag of masks not perform that well? Well, the answer is probably here in the certificate that came with the masks. Now, if we look at it here on this camera, uh, it says that uh, product name is KF94 Fish uh, Masks. And the standard is GB2626-2019. That is the KN95 standard, a self-certified standard that manufacturers can just say they um, adhere to. KF94 is a Korean standard, and you have to go through the Korean government to get approved. It's much, much stricter, not self-certified. So, to my mind, this says that these are not KF94s and should not be listed. I, I would even go so far as to call them counterfeit, because they are not what they claim to be in the listing. They are not KF94s. So, um, yeah, great price on a lot of masks, but not great protection.